crotchety clogger. It's time for another dance, don't you think? I've left you hanging long enough. In the meantime, if you're following along with the clogging tutorials, um, the last lesson we had uh, involved learning two new steps, the turkey and the stomp double. The stomp double is nothing but a double basic with a stomp in front of it. And the turkey, if, we'll, we'll go over it again. Anyway, we're going to learn a dance today to a song called The Creek. Are you ready? Okay, let's go over the steps. So, the first thing we're going to do is there's an intro in the song, and it lasts for 16 counts or two counts of eight. And then there's four counts of eight where we're going to just sort of play with some rhythms a little bit. Not necessarily with clogging, but just play around a little. And uh, we're going to let, we're going to clap on the even numbers, okay? So as we count to eight, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now on the next count of eight, we're going to step and clap, okay? So we're going to step on a downbeat. We're going to step on the numbers and clap in between. So it will be one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Be sure you start with your left foot when you do the steps. And then we're going to do that again. So let's put it all together. So we're going to do, we're going to clap on the even numbers, and then we're going to do it with the step. Clap again on the even numbers, and then we're going to do it with the step. All right? So let's give that a try. Be sure that you start with your left foot when you do the step part. All right, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. chairs and our two vines again. I should call them triple vines. All right, so let's try that all together. Uh, yeah, two rocking chairs and two triple vines. Five, six, seven, here we go. And a rocking chair. Vine left. The 
time you do it, you will do it three times in a row. But every time we do it afterwards within the music, you'll only do it twice in a row. Does that make sense? Good, I hope so. Alright, so then we have just one more section to go. And this is going to incorporate the stomp doubles that we just recently learned. Alright, so we're going to start with our left foot and do a stomp double. Yes? Remember, we stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Here we go. Alright, now we're going to do two kicks. In other words, we're going to double step, kick up, double step, kick up. Here we go. Alright, so do you notice that your right foot's free after that? Here's what's going to happen. We're going to do two more stomp doubles, but the difference is we start with our right foot. Five, six, stomp double. Two kicks. Right? You see how that reverses? So let's try the stomp doubles with the left foot again. Two kicks. Yeah. So we're going to be doing the the one stomp double and two kicks. One stomp double and two kicks. Another stomp double and two kicks. Another stomp double and two kicks. Right? So it's three times. I just want you to realize that it switches. It's an alternating step as far as what weight you're on. Okay? So let's try it all together. So we have left foot first, stomp doubles.
body. Let me catch my breath. So if you notice there, near the end, whoo, on section B, we did uh, the, hmm, yes, we well, forgot what it was. On section B, we did the rocking chairs and the kicks and the rocking chairs and the kicks, but we, we, and then we did the vines, the triple vines, and then we did the rocking chairs and the kicks again, but instead of doing the triple vines again, we went straight into the stomp double section. Does that make sense? Okay, that was fun. I'm sweating. I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on now. <laughs> And if anybody has any questions at all, feel free to email me or leave it in the comments below. And I'm going to try, don't hold me to it, <laughs> that I'm going to try to run like the steps across the screen when I edit the video, you know, so maybe that'll help you cue a little bit when you're practicing rather than trying to hear me. Uh, cause I don't know how my voice is coming. Just like in class, I'm trying to be loud while the music's playing, but I'm not sure. So anyway, let me know and maybe I can make it a little bit better next time. Thought about investing in a microphone, but then again, I'm worried about busting eardrums out, you know, <laughs> cause I can get loud. It's habitual when you have a class full of, uh, clogging shoes and tapping shoes. You kind of have to be loud. Anyway, I enjoyed it, and I'm glad I finally got you another dance going. So, I will see you later. Thank you all. And you know what? Remember to do something that brings you joy.